All right, you see a lot of great questions that are hard to answer. Uh, how come on our motors does the exhaust port, flo port f floor extend beyond where the transfer opens, right? Number one, blowdown is an important part, and that's simply the separation between that bottom, that, that, that second line there, stock exhaust port opening and that bottom line right there which is transfer opening that little space in between is blow down hence why i increase my exhaust duration i also increase blow down giving giving it more time and more exhaust duration gives more time for them spent gases to escape but the question is how come our floor extends so far below where transfer openings are i pose this simple uh answer to you google up two stroke port maps and you'll see on higher exhaust duration higher output dirt bike motors that there is a lot less floor meaning exhaust floor above transfer openings and typically they're running about 200 plus degrees of exhaust duration and they have a variable valve uh, exhaust duration using an IE power valve, a little gate that goes up and down. Uh, once you Google those pictures, you'll see there's a lot less floor below transfer opening. These little motors here, they, they come with super low exhaust ports, super low transfers, super low blowdown. So I'm guessing all that material is so it can flush out the cylinder uh scavenge properly i prefer this shape i i try to stay above my blow down line as you can see my transfer openings uh, that was my stock one but you see my bottom corners right at transfer opening i don't like to create a lot of port area meaning anything below the blow down line to me it is kind of wasting space so I don't know if I answered your question properly, but I'm trying over here best I can.